Take a minute to reflect on the ubiquity of painting worldwide. Few arts are as popular. The global practice of painting has led to the manufacture of countless paints. We often draw parallels between these paints, and today's spotlight is on eggshell vs semi-gloss paint. The two paints contrast in many ways, including appearance, durability, finish, coverage, maintenance, cost, and ease of use. In this video, I'll begin with defining the actual and semi-gloss paints and proceed to a detailed account of their differences and similarities. Knowledge is power, and we develop knowledge from information. This is free information, so I urge you to watch through it for maximum benefit. What is actual paint? Actual paint is a colored substance that ranks between satin and flat paint on machine or simmer spectrum. It reflects a tiny bit of light meaning it has little luster. The faintness of its sheen pulls out the paint's tone a little. The paint produces a sense of depth that's unique to itself. Paint manufacturing industries make the actual paint by varying the proportion of pigment vs. Binder in the paint. Actual paint has a lower binder percentage than semi-gloss paint, hence a lower radiance. What is semi-gloss paint? The semi-gloss is a paint that ranks between satin and high gloss on the sheen scale. It has a more noticeable sheen than its actual counterpart. Semi-gloss has a higher binder to pigment ratio, giving it a stronger glow. Light reflects easily off its surface. Sometimes, these paint finishes reflect an overwhelming and somewhat uncomfortable amount of light. This happens when you use the paint in large surface areas with several light sources. The paint is more beneficial, aesthetically in small to moderate sized surfaces with fair lighting. Comparative analysis of eggshell vs. Semi-gloss paint. Eggshell and semi-gloss are close on the luster scale, only the satin finish lies between them. This proximity often leads to confusion among prospective buyers. It becomes easier to pick the right choice for your project when you understand the differences between semi-gloss vs. Actual paint. I'll draw comparisons between the two paints in the segment's clear and well-articulated discourse. Appearance. Appearance means the visually discernible aspects of the paints, the most obvious of which is the sheen. Sheen means luster, or gloss in it. Semi-gloss paint has a higher sheen than actual paint. When you visualize the two paint finishes from afar, the semi-gloss surface appears to glow while the actual surface seems lackluster. It is because the semi-gloss paint reflects light while its actual counterpart absorbs light. Finish The glossy nature of semi-gloss paint leads to a smoother finish on surfaces. This leads to a skiddy feeling that's good for walls and some furniture. Make no mistake, actual paint also gives a smooth finish but is not as skiddy as the semi-gloss. Actual paint is thus suitable for floors and furniture like chairs which require a skidless surface. The similarity that both paints have smooth finishes, the difference is that one has a more skiddy finish than the other. Durability. Durability, in painting terms, is the ability of the paint to retain color, heat, and adhesive power. Semi-gloss paint is more durable than actual paint. The high amounts of binders in semi-gloss make it strong, resilient, and resistant to common causes of damage. The common causes of damage include adverse weather conditions, chemical spills, and scrubbing one cleaning. To emphasize the above point, binder comes from the verb bind, which means to tie or fasten tightly. Therefore, the high binder percentage of semi-gloss makes the surface tighter, more rigid, and resistant to damage. All of these bear the trappings of durability. Coverage. Paint coverage is the rate at which it spreads on the painting surface. It is often gauged in gallons per square foot. Actual paint has better coverage than semi-gloss. This is so because the former has a higher pigment to binder ratio than the latter. Thus, you can use fewer coats with actual than semi-gloss. Pigment promotes coverage while binder promotes sheen level. The high binder capacity of semi-gloss paint leaves little room for pigment. Therefore, less coverage. Maintenance. Both of the above paints have advantages and pitfalls concerning maintenance. Beginning with the advantages, semi-gloss doesn't accumulate dirt quickly and therefore needs little cleaning. It's also resistant to damage from scrubbing. All these are desirable maintenance features. Actual at classes semi-gloss when it comes to touch-up compliance, I, the ability to handle refurbishments. The renovated patches blend in easily with the existing paint. This is beneficial for maintenance. Ease of use. On the whole, actual paint is less challenging to use than semi-gloss. This is due to its ease of application, better coverage index, and better ability to hide floor imperfections. I'm not declaring actual to be the easiest to use out there. I'm only comparing it with semi-gloss paint. Eggshell is more straightforward to apply due to low binder amount since easy handling. The better coverage index is also due to low binder proportions, therefore low viscosity. The remarkable ability to hide streaks and other flaws is due to high pigment amounts. Cost. In general, eggshell paint costs less than semi-gloss. 
The price range varies depending on the manufacturing company and brand. The price difference isn't much of a worry for a small painting area. If your project is large, you'll definitely feel the impact of the price difference. However, the higher cost of semi-gloss comes with an excellent durability profile, a welcome trade-off. Therefore, before purchasing any of the two paint finishes, you need to do a cost-benefit analysis to determine what will serve you better. Uses Both of the paints in question are good for any surface. However, they edge each other out in some aspects like durability, visual appeal, coverage, and maintenance. Semi-gloss is great for bathrooms and kitchens as it's moisture-resistant and durable. It's also suitable for kitchen cabinets and furniture because it is easy to clean. Semi-gloss and other higher gloss paints are used on walls and flooring of buildings that require good lighting. The facilities include museums, hospitals, learning institutions, and high-end hotels all the above benefit from the reflective properties of this paint. What paint is better, eggshell or semi-gloss? In an overall sense, neither of the two paints is better than the other. The paints outdo each other only in a few facets, but they also have drawbacks. I've already mentioned and analyzed the advantages and flaws of the paints in question. Just refer to the preceding segments of this video. In a nutshell, actual paint suits tasks that don't gel well with semi-gloss. By the same token, semi-gloss paint serves better than actual in some functions. Therefore, it's somewhat illogical to rank one above the other. To end the dilemma, all of the paints named above are excellent. You only have to know what your surface needs. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos.